Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. Thank you guys so much for being here. We are going to be figuring out in this pick a card reading who is spying on you, who is spying on you and why. I'm so excited. So five groups like always, but before we go ahead and hop right in, I do have these lovely little candles that are available on my shop. Um, personal readings, I'm doing $5 readings as well on my shop. All that info, the link to my website, you can find down below in the description box. Um, follow my Instagram, follow the YouTube channel's Instagram, all that good stuff. And let's just hop right in, right? So we have pile one on the far left here, pile two, pile three in the middle, pile four, and five on the far right. Let's go ahead and get started on pile one. All right, hello group one, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. So let's just go ahead and hop right in, yeah? If you guys chose this pile, you guys chose group one with these lovely red candles here, we'll go ahead and put him just right here. These will be available on my shop plus some other goodies. So let's see what card this is. We have the Four of Coins. All right, so right off the bat, this is making me think that there is an earth sign who is spying on you here. And with the Four of Coins, this usually denotes someone who uh, could be quite shy, quite reserved here. This person does not want you to, t to know that they are spying on you. Um, I'm also getting this is someone who is quite stable with their approach, like they're not going to let their emotions or their craziness come out. They're really even tempered here. But for some reason, they are laying low. They are observing you is what I want to say as well. Um, I feel like this person could have some feelings for you. Uh, group one, but they're unsure with the four of coins. There's two roses here, so I feel like um, you could have options, they have options, but they feel quite romantic towards you here. This is someone who is going to provide a lot, whether this is just um, stability or emotionally here, but I feel like they're trying to keep their feelings intact. They're trying to, I feel like they do want to offer you something though. But at the same time, you may have turned this person down or you just don't uh, realize that this person's spying on you, right? All right, so let's go ahead and pull another card from this deck. Group one, who is spying on my group one? So we have the Three of Swords, yeah. So with the Three of Swords, this denotes heartache. This denotes distress. All right. So this person feels hurt by you, okay? They feel a bit heartbroken, but I'm once again, I'm not getting like this is too overly dramatic. It, I, there's just a situation that happened to where Either this already went down with you guys, or this could be someone new. Maybe they're going through something with another person that has passed, or just some things in their life that has passed to where they're, they're not as open as they used to be. Okay, so this person is dealing with their own issues here. And for others of you, this person is spying on you because you may have hurt them in some kind of way here. So let's go ahead and pull from this oracle deck. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this one. So we have the revolutionary here. So I feel like this person likes your spark, they like your pizzazz, they like your power, they think that you are definitely something a bit different from what they're used to here. Like you, you see this person, I feel like they're quite shy, they're quite reserved, they're going through some things, and I just feel like you're that spark that they need with the revolutionary here. 
um, they do feel pretty passionate about you or they could like the fact that you're someone who's pretty passionate. They feel like you are someone who could help them change. on my group ones and why so I feel like this is an earth sign with fire in their chart so we have transmute I feel like this could be someone who is a bit on the heavier side I don't know why that came to mind okay but transmute transmute is all about taking energy taking something and uh, having a different outcome, right? Kind of almost like alchemy. So yeah, I feel like this person sees you as someone who could help them see things from different perspectives or get them out of a situation or just help them bring some fire or inspiration back into their life. Okay. Very uh, interesting. So let's pull some more oracles here. So let's see my group ones, who's spying on my group ones and why? All right, so we have this card sticking right out. Wow, we have broken heart. Group one, what did you guys do to this person? Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to blame you guys, maybe. You know, like I said before, maybe this is just some events in their life or in their past that's affecting them as a person right now. And they kind of just see you as a spark. Yeah, I'm getting that this person feels a little lost in life right now. I feel like they're a bit insecure when it comes to you. I feel like they do want to offer you something. Group one. We have Angel of Strength in the reverse, okay? So we have a Leo coming out. We have a strong Leo. This Leo may have broken your heart, okay? Or maybe you broke this person's heart. But this person has a tough time with discipline. This person... Um, may give into their pleasures a little bit here okay but they kind of see you uh once again as something very different or maybe they see you changing right now right i almost want to say there's a bit of like jealousy or envy but at the same time there's also like a bit of admiration uh that they do have for you Okay. Let's pull some more oracles. We'll pull some tarot later as well, just to see if we can get any more specific signs. Whoa, okay, that wanted to jump right out. Perfect, I wanted to grab two anyways. So let's see, guys, um, what you got. So we have Deep Knowing as well as Unfinished Symphony in the reverse. So group one, um, I feel like a lot of you guys know who this person is. Like you know and you get a sense that this person is spying on you. They are lurking on you. So trust your intuition because it is correct. This person is watching you. I feel like they're watching you change. They're watching you transmute whatever energy you had. Um, we kind of have a storyline here as well. You know, we go from the three of swords to the revolutionary to transmute. So maybe this is someone who had broken your heart. Maybe you broke this person's heart. Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys, your intuition is going off about this person. And uh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and with Unfinished Symphony in the reverse, they see you getting out of this period of trouble in your life. Or this could be how this person is. Maybe they struggle with um, depression. They're struggling just with some inner issues here. I'm going to drink some coffee. You guys, I recommend if you want to save money on coffee, go to the grocery store and buy like the pre-made Starbucks. I mean, it's like five, six dollars, but every time you go to a coffee shop, you're paying that much anyway. So there you go. It's so good. All right, so let's pull a couple tarot cards here. Let's see, let's see. So my group one, who is spying on my group one? Who is spying on them? So we have the Empress, ooh, okay. So with the Empress, as far as signs, this could be a Libra, this could be a Taurus, this could be a mother who is, you know, your own mother who is spying on you, or this could be a baby mama as well. Um, this could even be explaining you with the lady here. Um, you're someone very beautiful in this person's eyes. They see you as the it woman, the it man, okay? And you're just growing, you're enjoying yourself. They see you on your throne here, okay, looking very beautiful very luscious very green very loving very go with the flow very chill we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse yeah so i feel like you make this person a bit insecure <laughs> okay you make this person a bit insecure but we do have a strong taurus is what i want to say and um, a strong Leo. Very interesting. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's pull some of these cards. So group one, who is spying on my group ones and why? So we have know your worth and move on, level the F up. Yeah, so pretty much like what I was saying here, you guys have leveled up, you guys have moved on, you're adding tax uh, for anybody who's trying to, you know, it's like you, you are, um, you're respecting yourself, you're putting boundaries with yourself, therefore it teaches this person not to fuck with you. So I, I definitely do get a sense too, group one, that you guys have leveled up as well. Be more of who you are. Look how unbothered you look, okay? But um, why this person is admiring you here is because you are fully you. You are someone who's giving to you, and I just feel like they they just admire you. They admire you. Let's pull some more tarot. So yeah, Libra, Taurus, and uh, Leo. The King of Cups wants to come out as well. I keep on seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's see, group one. Who is spying on me? My group one. Who's spying on my group ones? Let's pull this one right here. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this person's like obsessing over you, group one. They are holding back. They are, you know, they are interested in you here. We have the seven of pentacles. 
So I feel like this person's just chilling, okay? I don't think they're going to make a move, or if they have, I don't think they are going to anymore. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, I don't see them moving forward here. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles to the Lady, this is the Empress. It shows like both women like holding uh, fruit in their arms and kind of just enjoying their own company, enjoying their own abundance. And they kind of just see you like independent. They see you um, with all the fruits of your labor at this time, just chilling. We have temperance in the reverse. So we have a strong Sagittarius coming out in the reverse. Um, so yeah, this could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. There is a Sagittarius who is spying on you. I feel like there's a Sagittarius who's mad at you because you're not paying attention to them. And then we have an emperor here. So we also have an Aries. We actually have a couple here as well. We have the emperor and the empress. So this could literally be a couple who is spying on you, group one. Or this could have been someone that you were with, someone that you dealt with here. Or this could even be a mom and a dad, right? Your own mom and dad just spying on you here, okay? But I feel like they just see you doing good. They're seeing you chilling. They're seeing you unbothered. And they're kind of just spying on you because um, they're seeing you change. So group one, that is all I have for you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group two. Um, once again, I do have these candles for sale here. I do have these rings for sale here. They are so gorgeous. Check them out. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. Bye. Hey guys. Hey group two. Welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's see who is spying on you, right? So group two, if you guys chose this pile, you guys chose this beautiful white candle pack. $5 on my shop. Rings as well, um, Sage Palo Santos, $5. I'll check it out, we'll go ahead and put her right here, but let's go ahead and see what card you guys got, right? I wanna know. So let's see, group two, who's spying on you? We have death, okay? So there is a strong Scorpio who is spying on you, all right? This does not have to be a Scorpion specific. I feel like this is someone who is going through a lot of changes in their life. This is someone who is transforming as well. Um, or they could see you this way, right? They could see you going through a death, going through a transformation. But a strong Scorpio coming out. I'm also getting a scenario. Maybe you guys have ended things with this person. So let's see. Oh, okay, we got a few cards. So we have the High Sage and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we got a lot of water here. So the High Sage is the um, High Priestess in this card. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So we also have a strong Pisces, all right? I feel like, um, you know, this could be someone who is a Scorpio or Pisces or has both of these in their chart. Or this could be, you know, the High Priestess is someone very secretive, right? So I feel like this person, they are spying on you. They are lurking on you. And they're doing so very, very secretively. And you see how there's like two eyes? So this person's watching you. There's an eye right here. And there's an eye right here, so they're watching you. Um, I feel like they're trying to gather information about you as well with the High Priestess. Seven of Cups. Interesting. 
So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. I want to see what else comes up. But as far as signs, we have a Scorpio and a Pisces coming out very strong. Okay. So let's pull from this Oracle deck. All my decks will be listed down below in the description box. perspective and we have surrender Ooh. so yeah this person they could be watching you right now as we speak to be honest wow and I and I and I and I so I'm um, also group two I'm getting there's multiple people that have their eye on you okay and some of you could be um, in the spotlight um, or there's just literally multiple people watching you here but I feel like someone here surrendered to this connection or surrendered to this situation here. And they're spying on you because these people are confused. I feel like you are really um, hiding yourself at this time. You're being very, uh, you're laying low. And these people just want to know what you're doing with the Seven of Cups. They're confused. They, they want some more information with the High Sage here. So um, they're trying to gain perspective, but I feel like you're also not giving it to them. Yeah, we have the creator. So there was definitely something new that happened with you with the creator. Very interesting. Is that crooked? Yeah, it is crooked. Oh my god, okay, whatever. So let's see, let's pull some more. Let's see. Two. Who is spying on my group twos and why? Okay, so these cards really want to come out, wow. So we have Between Worlds and Yang. And it's so funny, this card is coming out as well, Fork in the Road, because this is like my mini death card. It's card number 13, Scorpio Death is card number 13. So um, yeah, I feel like you guys have definitely gone through a transformation with Between Worlds and Yang. Um, I feel like you guys probably have not had it easy in life, or there was just a situation where these people were you know, you kind of switched it up on them. Like you got your crown on now. I feel like you guys can be a lot more lively, a lot more happy. You guys are transforming into a better versions of yourself. You are taking action on the things that you want. Um, Yang is card number one. So they do see like new beginnings, right? With endings, with death, there's always new beginnings. So they're saying you walk towards this new beginning. And I feel like they're seeing you uh, change pretty fast as well. So yeah, I'm definitely getting Scorpio, Aries, Pisces. on my group twos and why who is spying on my group twos and why so we have patience in the reverse almost what came to my mind first was Sagittarius okay I feel like there's a Sagittarius who could be quite pissed off at you but I also feel like um, some people ran out of time with you and they're spying on you they're watching you right now um, 
Yeah, there's something about not waiting anymore. Someone came out of a, excuse me, a period of stagnation. Third chakra in the reverse. So I feel like this is someone who, uh, hmm, you know, because the third chakra upright talks about someone who is following their purpose, someone who is following their life mission in a healthy way. But when it's in the reverse, it talks about like a misuse of that. So I feel like whoever's spying on you, they're not fully tapped into that here. And I feel like you guys are, okay? Yeah, we have um, the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. So I feel like you guys are very, very aligned at this time. Very aligned, very divine. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards to see if we can get any more info here. Give us a quick shuffle. Yeah, so we have an Aries. So there's a strong, I feel like there's a strong Aries male and an Aries female as well who could be spying on you, group uh, two. But you know, if that's not the case, or maybe you guys are these signs. Um, but with the full card, you guys are definitely like on a new venture. You're on a new beginning here. Um, you know, it's very beautiful. They see you very unbothered, very happy, living life um, that you the way that you want to. We have the Ten of Wands, the Lovers Reversed, and the Hierophant. So I feel like this could have been someone that you fell out of a commitment with, you fell out of a marriage with. Okay, but as far as signs, we also have a Taurus and a Gemini. Taurus, Gemini, and... Um, an Aries, a Scorpio, and a Pisces. We have um, the Ace of Wands in the reverse, yeah. So I feel like there was something that didn't really get off the ground here, but I feel like you guys just ended up going your own way anyways, okay? Yeah, look, we have a Pisces, the Hangman. Yeah, I feel like there was something that didn't turn out in your favor group too, but it's kind of just like you're, you're picking yourselves back up now. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pull some of these cards. Who is spying on you and why? Stop giving your energy to stuff that doesn't align with who you are. Yeah. So it's like you're not even giving this person, this situation, or these people um, your time, attention, and energy anymore. They see that you turned your back for final, for good. You're off doing your own thing here. And they're spying on you just to kind of see like how you're doing. Yeah, only do what feels good. And you're obviously doing you at this time, okay? Visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. 
Awesome. Yeah, so you guys are doing you. You guys are on your A game right now. Um, you guys are building up yourselves. I do see that some of you guys are starting your own businesses at this time. Okay, for some of you, I'm gonna drink some coffee. Yeah, group two, you guys are just focused on you. But, some of, but a lot of you guys, group two, you have multiple eyes on you. Let's go ahead and pull, let's pull these cards. Yeah, we have these crystals. So I, you know, you're healing right now, group two. You are healing yourselves with the crystals here. Maybe there's some people who want to heal stuff with you. Growth looks so good on you. Keep doing you, babe. Yeah, you guys are growing. You guys are looking hella good as well is what I want to say. Um, you guys may have changed your appearance, changed your clothing, um, your environment around you, upgraded some things. I'm not too sure. You know what to do. Just listen to your heart. We have candles. Yeah, someone here ran out of time. Uh with the other person. But it's kind of just like, you know, there's a lot of into there's a lot of following intuition here, letting go of things, having faith um in yourself and kind of just killing it at this time. Yeah, invest in yourself. Beautiful. So group two, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Um, once again, check out my shop for those candles. I'm wearing our rings right now as well in the shop. I love them so much. Um, and yeah, I'm going to move on to group three now. Thanks, group two. Bye. Hey, group three, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. So group three, if you guys chose this pile, you guys chose the black candles here. You can find this on my shop for $5, um, plus some other goodies that are included with the candles as well. So we'll go ahead and put them right here. All right, but let's go ahead and find out who is spying on you. Let's see who it is. Group three. We have the Sovereign of Cups, all right. So group three, we have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio female who is spying on you, okay? Um, I feel like this person has a lot of care for you. They have a lot of love for you. This doesn't even have to be, you know, the specific zodiac signs, but this is just someone who cares a lot about you, someone who has a lot of love, compassion, and empathy towards you here, okay? So they're definitely feeling a way about you um, in a good sense, but we'll go ahead and pull some more cards just to see, you know, just to get into some more information, right? So let's just see. So let's see. All right. So, oof, oof, we have the Five of Swords, okay. So this could have been someone that you had a falling out with. Okay, I'm not too sure what's going on. The Five of Swords is a card that's about uh, irre irreversible damages, okay? Scenarios where, you know, Things happen, things get said that are just like, you know, you can't really look at the person the same or, you know, you, you know what I mean? It's just that stuff that kind of hurts, that bothers people to the core. So I feel like this person either wants to apologize or this person could have just been someone who hurt you. You guys had some drama. You guys had some back and forth stuff here. Okay. Um, let, let's see what else wants to come out.
the universe. Yeah, so I feel like things could have ended between you guys. I, I feel like this person is just checking on you to see how you're doing. Uh, group three. Okay, I feel like this person still kind of has some like resentment towards you. The Weaver. Yeah, I feel like you guys could have cut out this person or you guys just stopped giving attention to this person because the Weaver is someone who uh, knows which threads of our lives to cut, which ones to sever and which ones to tend to, you know, and paired right next to the universe. I feel like you guys may have cut out this person due to some drama. Um, we have shadow here. So maybe your shadow side came out. Maybe their shadow side came out. Um, but I feel like group three, how, however this resonates for you or this other person, they are creating their own destiny right now. Okay. Like I said before, the weaver is someone who, um, knows that we are the ones who can kind of make our lives in a way we have the universe. Here, so someone here is starting a new phase of their lives, okay, or is starting just something new going on here. So let's see what is going on. We have a woman holding a coin. Okay, so there is a earth sign female who could be spying on you here. All right, I feel like this earth sign female is someone very stable. This is someone kind of well established here. This could be a friend um or this could just be you know a, a woman who's being represented by this earth sign energy but we also have deceit this is like my seven of swords card um you know with deceit here so um i feel like there's some friends or there's some people or who are spying on you group three who don't have like their best intentions at heart when it comes to you um, you guys could just be focused on your money right now, focused on your kids, focused on your stability, focused on your career, your wealth. Wow, we have the world again, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like there's some unfinished business between you guys. Um, or just someone here is having a hard time dropping the situation, is what I want to say. Alright. Very interesting. Wow, look at what we have at the top of the deck. Envy. So yeah, group three, um, these people are jealous of you or this person is envious of you, envious of what you have. Like you see how like this person, she's in her dark cave, but she's kind of just looking at this golden castle in front of her. So I feel like they're jealous of what you have, okay? And they're having a hard time like dropping it letting it go so we have a leg up so i definitely do feel like this is a friend or this was someone who um you helped out a lot maybe they helped you out a lot or they could see you this way. You're someone who's like getting a leg up right now. You are supported by different friends, different people.
new life. Yeah, wow. We have like the world twice and then we have new life. Wow. So uh, this person is jealous of your new life. They're jealous of where they you are at right now. They are jealous of the stuff that you own, how solid you are as a person, how you look is what I want to say. Some of you guys do have status as well. You know, the pentacle suit, uh, king and queen uh, come with status as well. Um, some of you guys have your own businesses, things like that. So I'm getting a strong Capricorn. There could be a strong Capricorn female. Or you could be a Capricorn female. So let's see. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, I don't see this person coming forward. They're just spying on you here. This person could be struggling with like some direction in their life and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. And they could feel like um, karma is not on their side. They could feel like, once again, I'm just getting like, they feel like their direction in life is not good, okay? And they're kind of just seeing you and, and they're jealous of that. What'd you do to this person? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pull these cards. Time to let go, say no more heal. So you guys may have walked away from this person. You guys may have stopped dealing with this person stopped um you know giving them your energy your attention you see you healing at this time the universe is giving you exactly what you are ready to receive yeah this is so funny so yeah they're seeing that um things are coming in for you okay Oh my goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see. I want to pull some more of these cards. We still don't have any signs yet. You know what to do, just listen to your heart. So yeah, I feel like you are doing what's best for you at this time. I feel like you are not engaged with this person. You're not getting out of character when it comes to this person. You are enough. You are healing yourself at this time. So let's see if we can get some signs. My group threes. Who is spying on my group threes? So we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Hierophant. Okay, so we have a strong Taurus. Okay, this Taurus is showing up in the reverse. And you may have cut out this Taurus with the Ace of Swords or they may be coming through with some kind of communication. Okay. Or this could be someone from an institution, someone from work here with the Hierophant. We have the High Priestess. Okay. So yeah, this person is definitely like, they're keeping it a secret right now, how they feel about you. This could also be a Pisces. But so far we have a strong Taurus.
We have the hangman. Wow. So we also have a strong Pisces. This could be a Taurus who has Pisces in their chart. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Wands to uh, the Tower. So they could see you as someone who's bringing in this Tower. You are someone who's gaining uh, your power back at this time. You guys may have destroyed this connection with these people or this person. Okay, um, I feel like you were, you guys were the ones to stand up for yourself and just do things alone, gain your power back. And they're kind of just really seeing you go and get it right now. But um, you know, if this isn't you, then I'm just getting that this could be a Sagittarius female. We have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups coming out. But as far as signs, we have a Taurus and a Pisces. You know, with the Hierophant in the reverse, this could also be someone you got out of a commitment with. Someone that you broke up with got a divorce why is this hierophant here the eight of swords yeah so i also feel like if this is a taurus this is someone who is showing up in the reverse because they're in this eight of swords energy they are obsessing over you they aren't really focused on them they're mainly focused on other people or you right now so they could be obsessing over you a little bit they feel stuck justice in the reverse okay so we have yeah we have a libra or this could literally just be a divorce right a breakup yeah i feel like you were you guys were the ones to bring the hammer to this situation and it's throwing this person off Okay, so they're spying on you just to see how you're doing, and they see that you're doing fine. Okay, so group three, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Once again, check out my candles, check out my shop. Um, everything's pretty much $5 right now. I have $5 readings going on. Thank you so much. And I'm going to move on to group four now. Yay. Thanks, group three. Bye. Hey group four, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. So group four, who is spying on you? If you guys chose this pile, you guys chose the lovely white candle pack here. You can find this available on my shop for $5 plus some other goodies that are included with the candles. Uh, $5 tarot readings. My website link will be down in the description box. But group four, let's see who is spying on you, right? Let's see, so the card that you guys got is the Eight of Swords, okay. Please excuse the background noise. So pretty much what I'm getting with the Eight of Swords here is that this person is stuck on you, okay? They are obsessing over you. They feel like they have done something wrong to where they're really overthinking the situation. This could also be someone in their life right now where they feel stuck. They feel like they can't find a way out of um a situation that they're just not happy with okay so let's go and pull another card from this deck so let's see Spying on my group fours. So we have the hanged one. Okay, so we have a Pisces as well. We have a Pisces showing up. And you see how it the hands kind of like hanging the rose. So group four, I feel like this person's like hung up over you. Okay. And both of these cards have to do with feeling stuck as well. Um, we have the ace of cups, so I'm not sure. If this person rejected you or you were the one to reject this person or for some of you they may come through with an offer as well okay 
but they feel stuck, they feel hung up about this situation. Um, there's a Pisces here who's kind of in their head about you. All right, and let's, let's just grab some more info. group fours and why the revolutionary yeah so one person is stuck the other person is getting out okay I feel like group four you guys were the ones to take your power back in this situation and this person's just kind of starting to realize either how they were wrong or how they were treating you or just some stuff about themselves, right? And I just feel like you guys kind of got up and left. You guys took back your power, right? And fate. So there's, there's, they see you as this golden special egg here, okay? Um, and I feel like you guys are doing things differently from what this person's used to. You guys are ones who really take control of your lives here. Um, this could be how this person is as well. Maybe they like to travel. Maybe they're very fun and fiery here. Um, but I feel like you guys are kind of just off doing your own thing right now. Okay. But yeah, I feel like they're starting to see you differently, group four. And I feel like you're starting to see this person differently, right? So let's see. We have indecision. So yeah, this person's stuck when it comes to you. There's a lot of stagnant energy that this person has. They don't know if they want to move on. They don't know if they want to approach you. And if they are going to approach you, they don't know how to or if they are going to leave. They don't know um, how to move forward, okay? They're very much like analyzing themselves, analyzing the situation, analyzing you. We have contracts. So we have a strong Libra and we have a strong Pisces here, okay? So you guys could have been married to this person or you guys just could have been in a commitment with this person. This could be a business partner. This could be someone from work, from school. And then we have door to personal healing and happiness. So I feel like you guys are out here healing yourselves, healing the world. Okay, probably not the world, but you're out here much happier that this person sees. I feel like you guys are just very unbothered. And at the end of the day, group four, I feel like you guys were just trying to do the right thing for yourself, for this situation, for the connection here. Okay. Yeah, look, we have door to personal healing and happiness. And we have financial constraints reversed with caring connections. So I feel like this is definitely something to do with a relationship you were in. For others of you, you are in a new relationship. And for others of you, this could be a couple who is spying on you here, okay? But overall, group four, I feel like, you know, with financial constraints coming out reversed behind door to personal healing and happiness, I feel like you guys aren't even bothered or stressed or pressed about the situation okay they see you overall happy they see that new doors are opening for you you're not even coming from a place of lack okay <clears throat> let's 
Let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. So we have building blocks in the reverse. Yeah, because someone here finally um, realized that there was cracks in the foundation. Okay, cracks in the foundations of the connection here. <clears throat> and we have Y in the reverse. So group four, I feel like you guys know who this person is. Okay, I feel like you guys, if, if there's someone that you have in mind who is spying on you, then yeah, you, you know who it is. And, you know, I'm also getting with this card here that this person, it's like, like, you see this picture how this person is just like so tempted to open this book, so tempted to see what's inside. I feel like this is how this person is with you. They're checking up on you. They know that they really shouldn't or they know to just, you know, lay it to rest, but they just want to open it. They just want to see. They just want to lurk. They just want to know. They want to ask, okay? So let's see. All right, so we have some cards out already. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Two of Wands, and Rebirth, which is judgment in this deck in the reverse. So we have a strong Sagittarius who is showing up in the reverse here, who is spying on you. I'm also getting that with the Two of Wands here, you are off on your own direction, okay? They see that you are someone with the Nine of Wands who has your boundaries up, you have been through enough, and they just know that you are not wanting to return, you're not wanting to revive things, you're kind of just finding yourself at this time, you're going in a new direction, and they see that you do have your walls up, all right? And for some of you, you are in a new connection here, okay? We have a strong Sagittarius here. You could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, so there was some kind of rejection that happened here. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come out. Wake up and get dressed, do something that'll make you feel good. Beautiful, yeah. So they're saying you, um, an, an energy that I'm getting is, um, in not caring what other people think. It's finally turning to the attention to you. What do you want? You know, what makes you feel good? Are you gonna stay in this situation or with this person to keep them happy? Is it making you feel good? So they definitely see you as doing things that you wanna do that's gonna make you happy, that's gonna help you grow. No time for BS, yeah. So they see you as someone who's just very much to yourself. You have no time for BS. You have no time for drama. Uh, take what you need. I love this card because the one, you know, it says kisses, pizza, a nap, alignment, but the one that she's grabbing says cash. So you guys are most definitely about your stability, about your money, your coin, your career, your finances. Um, your business, all of that. Right, let's pull a couple from this deck. So 
So we have, you know what to do, just listen to your heart. We have these tarot cards coming out. So um, for some of you, group four, you guys are tarot readers. Um, this person could most definitely be watching your tarot channel if that's the case, group four, is what I'm getting. And, you know, I feel like with you know what to do, just listen to your heart here. It's like you guys are listening to your intuition. Okay. You know, hence the revolutionary here. A lot of people stay in situations that they don't want to be in due to um, playing victim or just feeling stuck or not wanting to rock the boat with people. But you're out here like just setting fire to shit, kind of. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot. So yeah, uh, signs that I'm getting are Pisces, Sagittarius, and Libra. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, someone stopped moving forward towards somebody else in the connection. Somebody did a detour. King of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, we have a Sag Aries Leo male showing out in the reverse. This person is spying on you. person could have some anger issues or you know with the eight of swords being here they're just not fully in their element right now they could have a drinking problem uh some substance abuse problems and we have the three of pentacles so this person could be spying on your social media this could be someone um that you work with watching you on social media. There could have been a third party situation going on here, but I feel like this person is watching you with the three of pentacles. We do have the lovers here with death. So we also have a Scorpio and a Gemini. interesting so group four that is all i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching um once again i'm doing five dollar personal readings um you know these candles up on my shop as well check it out thanks so much and i'm moving on to group five thank hey group so five welcome to your reading thank you guys so much for being here so group five if you guys chose this pile you guys chose these red candles here five dollars on my shop i'm also doing five dollar dollar tarot readings as well so check it out my website link will be down below but let's go ahead and see group five what card you got who is spying on you right so let's see we have ooh, we have the seeker of swords so this is the page of swords in this deck now, if you guys are familiar with tarot, you guys know the Page of Swords is notorious for being the spire, okay? So, um, group five, you guys definitely do have someone who's stalking you, someone who's spying on you. They may even come through with a message as well, all right? Um, but, for, um, but for others of you, they're just spying on you. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming out here. So let's see it. Group five. 
Who is spying on my group bags? And then we have the High Sage. Ooh. So this is the High Priestess in this deck. So, you know, we have a strong Pisces, right? But what this combination is telling me, uh, group five, that this person um, is doing so very quietly, okay? I feel like they could be trying to gather information about you, but um, they're doing this in secret, very secretively. Um, and we have justice, so I feel like there is a strong Libra who is spying on you here. Okay, and then we have the star card. So there could be a Libra and an Aquarius. They could have this in their chart here. Or this could have been someone that you distanced yourself from, you have divorced or um, just left, and you're kind of out here with the star card. Healing yourself, you are rejuvenating yourself, okay? For some of you. Um, group five, uh, this person's going to come back with a message, okay, or with some kind of offer here. So be ready for that. Let's go ahead and choose from this deck. All my decks will be listed down below um, in the description box. power yeah so group five I feel like you guys could have taken back your power in this connection okay um, I'm definitely getting like a strong message you guys um, have left this person or maybe they left you but I'm getting a sense group five that you guys could quite possibly could be the ones who are on a new venture here you are feeling like you again. You know, this card to me is like the Ace of Wands. This person could be feeling pretty powerless right now when it comes to this connection. We have Reflect, yeah, so they're reflecting on this situation here. Okay, they're reflecting on a connection that the both of you guys may have had with one another and i feel like they want to respark things with you okay so i'm definitely getting yeah um you know look at that we got self-love coming out and then we have speak truth you know and then connect to heart so i feel like this person does want to come through with the message talk things out to you and for others of you you guys spoke your truth you guys cut this person out you guys are on your self-love game right now. Um, and just, you know, back in the driver's seat, back in your own divine power here. Or just doing you, right? So crooked. All right. So let's pull these cards. We have exchanging gifts in the reverse. So I feel like someone could have left the other person because they felt like they weren't getting an equal give and take, okay? In the connection. Someone felt like they were giving too much. The other person could have been taking too much. And then we have fork in the road in the reverse. So this is like my mini death card in this deck. It's card number 13. So um, I feel like this person's stalling or this person just really wasn't making any decisions to change things up in the connection between you guys. Okay, they were kind of just not really putting in the effort or not really taking this connection seriously between you guys.
feel like it's crooked. Okay. But yeah, they're having a hard time letting it go as well. I feel like it's really in their mind. And let's pull some more Oracle cards. But so far we have a strong Libra and a strong Pisces and Aquarius. We have Angel of Love Reverse. Yeah, so here's this Libra. I feel like you guys could be withholding your affection at this time with Angel of Love in the reverse. You know, or the other person was just um, not really giving you what you needed, right? We have Man Holding a Heart in the reverse. Yeah, so someone felt like Someone wasn't giving too much. Someone feels, um, someone's emotions are changing. I'm also getting with man holding a heart reverse. This is someone who um, doesn't express their feelings too much or they don't know how to. Someone who could have been manipulative or just someone who is very closed off, okay? Why are my hands so dry? Oh, I just did dishes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look, and then we have the second chakra. This is like my Queen of Wands card. So I feel like you guys are just back in the driver's seat. You guys are unbothered. You guys are doing you. And this person is just feeling some kind of way about it. So yeah, there's a Pisces male who is spying on you. And there is a Libra female that I'm seeing here as well. You guys could be these signs. So we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Five of Swords. Ooh. So there could have been some kind of like verbal communication between the both of you guys that was not very pleasant here. The Five of Swords talks about those situations where it's kind of like irreversible damage. People say things that hurt one another. People do things that, you know, hurt one another, right? And you know, group five, I feel like you guys could be the ones who are on guard right now. I feel like someone cheated. I feel like there's a female that cheated, all right, um, for some of you. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So we have time to let go, say no more, heal. Yeah, you guys are healing at this time. You guys are walking away, you guys are done. Girl boss, build my own empire. Yeah, I feel like this person's definitely watching your social media or they're watching your business, um, or they're watching you work, okay, in some kind of way here. But yeah, if you guys have your own businesses, I feel like this person is definitely watching you. They're watching you through there. So I'm not going to take this because this card has been coming out for like the last three piles. We have these tarot cards. So yeah, I feel like some of you guys um, read tarot cards. If that's the case, if you have your own YouTube channel, this person is watching your YouTube channel.
or they could be getting tarot readings about you. They could watch. They could be watching, you know, videos, readings about you. We have this spell book. So I feel like you guys are closed off to this person right now, and they're just wanting to know what's up with you. And it could just be very active on your social media, so that's the only way that they can figure out how to, you know, know what's up with you. We have the candles here. So we have a lot of candles uh, so far. Yeah, I feel like someone's light is burning out for the other person. Don't fuck with my energy. <laughs> okay, group five. So yeah, they, they feel this kind of energy towards you here or from you with the don't F with my energy. Okay, someone here is very guarded with the 901. Someone here definitely has their boundaries up. And let's pull some tarot. Let's see if we can get any more signs here. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. So we have the nine of wands again, the six of wands, and the tower. Okay, so we have a Scorpio Sagittarius is what I'm getting. But with the tower here, there is an instance uh, where someone brought the hammer or you may have found out about something or there just may have been a phone call between you guys where you just decided to walk away, cut things out. And this person with the six of wands kind of just sees you um, just doing what's best for you, right? You know, Nine of Wands talks about boundaries. Six of Wands talks about achievements. So this person does see you in high regards. They do see you in a good light, group five. And I feel like this person is just wanting to come forward. They do feel pretty hurt about this situation, but they do see you in a good light. Um, but they just see you kind of pissed, okay? Just digging yourself in work right now. And they know that you deserve better, okay? They know that you are wanting more. We have the Six of Swords reverse. So yeah, this person is having a hard time um, getting their mind, getting you off their mind. They're having a hard time walking away, moving away. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like you stopped moving towards this person or I feel like this person, I don't think they're gonna move towards you, all right? We do have the Eight of Wands, okay? So for some of you, this person is going to come forward with a message, all right? But overall, I am getting that you guys are moving pretty fast. You guys are letting go of this situation. We have the Death card and the Ace of Wands. So there could be a Scorpio who comes through with a message or something new. Or this could just be the energy that you are bringing, right? With death, there's endings, but there's always new beginnings, hence the Ace of Wands. So I feel like someone here is taking a risk to, to just um, end things. But we do have strong Scorpio energy with death in the tower. So Pisces and Scorpio. So group five, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Once again, get at me for $5 readings for my candles as well. My website link will be down below. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next reading.